I want to know where and how you are creating your portfolio. Please let me know because today I am about to share with you how I create Behance project for my portfolio in Adobe Illustrator. In this video, you are about to learn three things. First, how I set up my document to make a seamless project on Adobe Illustrator. Second, you're going also to learn how I outline or sketch this project before even designing it. And third, obviously, the entire design. Without further ado, let's get right on my computer and in Adobe Illustrator. Let's go. So usually what I do is making this Behance project uh, portfolio presentation directly in in the document of the brand. So let me show you so it makes sense. Every time I'm creating any kind of brand design, my Illustrator document looks like this. So it's a little bit everywhere. Uh, we do not need all of that. So the first thing I do is obviously making some artboard because we're going to export Azul's artboard afterward. So how I would set it up is going on one of those corners and start making this seamless look. So to do so, we're going to make 10 to 12 artboard, 1920 by 1080. Need to keep our width 1920, but our high can be less or more than that. I'm gonna start like that and see if I wanna make it smaller or not. But as of right now, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make an artboard, gonna go on the side and start tapping, this is way too big. That is my first artboard. And then I'm just going to hold option and drag this artboard and I'm, I want them to intersect like this. And I want to make like 12 of them. So this is what we're gonna do. Okay, so as you can see, I have my 10 artboard. I made 10 of them, which is, I think, good enough. Now they're all the same width and high, so we are good. And now we're going to add another artboard on the side, which is going to be the size of our thumbnail. So a thumbnail size for a Behance project is 1376 by 1080. So this is what we're gonna do right here. So that is my setup on the Illustrator document. And the second thing that I do after setting up my artboard is outlining my project or like sketching it. So sometimes I like to take my iPad or a piece of paper and a pen and just writing down, outlining or even sketching like with little uh, images and little uh, notes what I wanna add and how seamless I want the project to be. So to get inspired, I either go into my own Behance project uh, that I've done in the past and look at what I've included, if people looked at this project and what I want to redo. Or I also like to go into discovery in in the hands and look at what well-made projects are looking like and try to get inspired from it. So for this project, I want to include the company's background, their style direction, and their brand goal. We're going to write this down in a project. We always want to start with some kind of like a uh, situation or like problem statement. Then I am going to include the sketch of the icon, the sketch of the logo, and my design description, design description. Decisions. I also want to include the color palette, color combination, and why I used some type of gradients. I will bring any assets that I've already made into my Adobe Illustrator document. So that includes the mockups, the imagery, and then we will start thinking of the layout. So what will come first? How are we going to add those elements into our project? We want it to look seamless, so we we will do like an Instagram carousel and put some stuff in middle of artboards. You will see me design it in a time lapse. So I'm trying to explain it as much as I can right now. All right, so let's export those assets quick. Just 
watched how I put all those elements together. So this is what we're gonna use on our artboard right here. So how do I get started? On each artboard, I'm going to write down what I'm going to display. So you won't get lost when you watch this time lapse of me designing it. you are kind of situated that you understand the process how I'm going to put this all together let's watch the time lapse of me designing it and I will see you when it's done can't wait to see the result all right see you in a bit <laughs> results you guys you know all my secrets on how i create my behance project portfolio in adobe illustrator so let's quick look at it this is what we've done here is my thank you page that goes at the end of the project obviously that talks a little bit about what my company does and what they can do for you we also added our color combination some mock-up and some explanation of the brand here are some random text i have this is the only thing that i need to do is explain my design right here so i'm going to do this right now off camera i just wanted to tell you thank you for watching until the end i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss any of my future uploads until next time take care